Question 31 Instrumentation Engineering Gate 2022 A Xenon diode is used as a 4 volt voltage regulator in the circuit shown. Given that the diode requires a minimum current of 4 mA for voltage regulation, the maximum current in mA permitted to flow through the load RL is dash. This is supposed to be rounded off to one decimal place. For a detailed lecture on Zener diode, please refer module 1, lecture 5, Zener diode and applications, a lecture series on basic electronics by Dr. Chitraleka Mahanatha. Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, IIT Guwahati. Let's have a look at the basic working of Zener diode. Zener diode works at reverse bias unlike a normal PN junction diode. If this Zener diode is connected across the load resistor, in a Zener diode, when it is reverse biased, avalanche breakdown occurs. So due to this, what happens? The voltage that is across this diode appears to be constant during the breakdown condition. If the breakdown voltage let us say it is 4 volt then this diode ensures that 4 volt is maintained constant across its ends. So when we connect a load in parallel to the Zener diode 4 volt is maintained across this load as well. This is the basic reason why we connect a Zener diode across a load so that the voltage is getting regulated. It is a very common application of Zener diode. For a detailed lecture on the working principle of this diode, please refer the NPTEL video that is linked above. In this question, we have a 16 volt DC source that is supplying power and this power supply reverse biases the diode. Because of this, this operates in the breakdown region and the breakdown voltage is given as 4 volt. This diode regulates 4 volt across the resistor RL. We are given that the minimum current of this Zener diode is equal to 4 mA and the breakdown voltage of this diode let us denote it as Vz which is equal to 4 volt. We are asked to find out the maximum current that is permitted to flow through the load resistor RL. We know that minimum 4 mA will flow across this diode. Therefore, the current that is supplied by the source minus 4 mA will be the current that is passing through the resistor RL. This is by Kirchhoff's current law. By Kirchhoff's current law, the supplied current is equal to 4 mA plus the current that is passing through the load resistor RL. Let us find out this current. When 4 volt is across this end and 16 volt is across this end, let us ground this terminal for reference. When 16 volt is across this terminal, the voltage difference that this 1200 ohm experience is 16 minus 4 which is 12 volt. 12 volt is across this 1200 ohm. Therefore, the current through this 1200 ohm resistor is equal to 12 volt divided by 1200 which is 1 by 100 or 0 0.01 ampere or 10 milli ampere. So therefore this current is 10 milli ampere and 4 milli ampere is taken away by this Zener diode for its operation. Therefore what is the remaining current? It is 10 minus 4. The current that is passing through the load resistor, the current that is passing through the load resistor RL is equal to 10 minus 4 milliampere, which is equal to 6 milliampere. This is a numerical answer type question. The answer is 6 milliampere. The answer to question 31 is 6 milliampere. Thank you.